veins and coming from death? Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, um, I'm interested in a model-based um, fall detection algorithm and uh, what the po uh, possibilities are there. And this is specifically for a uh, wearable uh, hip protection device I'm um, wearing right now, and you can see here in action. Thank you, Seher, for pushing me. <laughs> um, so this, um, if you want to play around with this later, let me know. <laughs> I have it on. Um, so, what, what kind of information can we use? We only have a single sensor unit uh, in this belt, an IMU. Uh, so it's not a lot of information. Um, we have the angular velocity and the linear acceleration. Um, and from this we can get the pelvis or orientation, of course. And um, as o others have previously done, uh, estimate the vertical velocity, which is quite a good estimate uh, determinant for um, uh, for a fall. But it doesn't give enough information. We need we need a bit more. So where can we look? Um, I had um, the inspiration to look at uh, like where the uh, support uh, is. Uh, compared to the pelvis, um, where we start at uh, where, where is this support force, uh, uh, the direction of the support force, we, which we can guess from the uh, acceleration. Uh, but it doesn't directly show us where it is, right? But if we go further, uh, we know uh, the torque is the um, the cross products between the arm of the, uh, the force and the force itself. Um, and the torque is related to the angular velocity and the angular acceleration. So we can solve uh, this with the information we have and get an estimate for the support distance. Uh, I use this to um, develop a fault detection algorithm and um, did some pilot studies. Um, uh, I asked a couple of people to um, simulate falls and uh, perform activities of daily living. Uh, the specificity, um, <laughs> which uh, is of course the true negative ratio we found was 99.2%, uh, and the sensitivity, uh, the true positive ratio was 97%. So this is, of course, not 100. Where, where is the challenge we still face? Um, it's specifically with the high dynamic movement for the false positives. So uh, jumping, uh, running, abnormal gait patterns where you have high impacts, and false negatives for uh, a low dynamic fall. So if you um, faint from standing. Um, so what, what, what are we doing now? Um, we, we're designing experiments um, not only to um, see what the performance of the algorithm is, what we, we've done now in the pilot experiments, but also um, gather force place data and uh, motion tracking to uh, validate the fe feature estimation. And we would like to um, combine uh, this model-based framework in a learning-based approach. Are there any questions or comments? Great. Hmm? Uh, questions? Chris. Oh, no, okay. Chris is volunteering somebody else. Is that Matt? Awesome. So, uh, I mean, you've talked about trying to infer all of this from the IMU, but there are a lot of other small sensors you could imagine putting in a device like this, something like mm -hmm. a rangefinder on the side. Have you thought about other sensing mythologies to uh, get around the issues with IMUs? Yes. Um, right now, we, um, we, <laughs> we wanted to start with the uh, IMU and see what we can uh, grab from that, that data. And, uh, Following up, we would like to see if we could uh, enhance it by using barometric data or um, 
um, location data. But the, uh, the main uh, challenge is that it needs to be in the belt, of course, the sensor. Thank you. Yeah, we 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 uh, model it as a very uh, rough um, single rigid body. Uh, of the whole body, or the, just the trunk? Uh, the trunk plus the leg. Okay. So I'd be concerned that sometimes people fall uh, into a sit, meaning that the trunk stays vertical. Yep. And then I wonder if uh, that uh, <coughs> has an effect on the accuracy. Um, I cannot. I, I can tell you that um, falls that do sit are detected, um, and it's probably because um, so the the support distance is shorter in real life, but actually that support height also. So it, it sort of scales um, if you do a sitting fall. Yeah, the fainting falls because they are quite slow, but you can also have um, um, like transfer uh, fall problems. So if you transfer from a wheelchair to a chair and then fall, it, it's not necessarily very low dynamic. Do you know how sensitive these results are to height of the sensor? Um, I would like to, like, I have actually, uh, f for my um, my experience, I want to, like, um, have different height uh, subjects, and I have, I think, like, taller people will, uh, yeah, have different results than shorter people, but I will, I will look into that, yeah. Chris. amplify some of the comments that were made previously because I think what you showed in your videos is quite unnatural. Uh, I've been taking care of my 84 year old mother. She basically crumples when yeah. she falls yeah. and she tends to interact very badly with objects. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think if you're gonna sort of have more natural stuff, you gotta have some yeah. furniture and, and people who just sort of yeah. No, I know exactly what you mean. This was actually more for fun, but it's not part of the experiment. Um, so part of the experiments I did during the pilot study was also uh, walking with an, um, how do you call it, a ladder, uh, like a walker, yeah. <laughs> walking with a walker and then like stumbling and then falling like that. Yeah, that kind of falls and trips. I've worked as a carer in a nursing homes, so I have a sort of a vision how people fall down. <laughs> Laser pointer thief here. <laughs> Do you have both of them? You have one, but not Jesus, right? Okay. Laser pointer thief, make yourself known. Uh, laser pointer back there. One more question. Wait. So, when you detect some fall, are you trying to develop an emergency assistance controller when you detect fall? Um, so, right so, now, um, yeah. the airbag is inflated to protect the hip. Uh -huh. And if someone doesn't stand up after the fall, a, a message is uh, sent to a carer if you want. So, it is not about preventing them from fall? And it it's it's preventing hip fracture and uh, getting assistance to them. Yeah. But are you using the detection to control your system? I guess I'm confused about sorry. what the system is. Yeah. Is there a, yeah. I think I know what she's asking. Okay, she's sorry. Asking, I think it maybe got missed right at the beginning, which okay. is that the IMU triggers airbags. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So this is an airbag. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two airbags, and it's usually worn under the clothes. So the airbags stay in place. Like in a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Rapidly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you.